Good morning, everybody. It's 921, 845 a.m. in the morning. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Lord and our Savior. Excuse me one moment. Let me wipe some of this off. Huh. I should have did this before I started. I had no idea it was this bad. Okay. I think I got it. Anyhow, you guys, I started the video I'm loading up right now. It just cut off right in the middle of this. So, what I'm going to do is finish reading it. This is going to be the part two video. It might be my last video today. Okay. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. This is where we want to be um, uh, walking in the spirit, you guys. It says, if, in the fear of God, when evil, you're going to want to, you won't want nothing to do with it. You'll depart from it. You'll, you'll have nothing to do with it. And you'll be watching uh, very carefully everything, okay? If you stay in the Word, man, you'll, you won't be deceived. This is why Scripture, uh, we say we preach Jesus Christ. Not ourselves, not other people, but Jesus Christ and what He did on the cross, okay? And His teachings. You know, the parable of the seeds, where it, when it says, the seed that abideth in, in those... They sin not, okay? Those that are yielding themselves into sin, that's whom you obey. And that's what Scripture says, you know? So that's why I'm always coming against the future sinning, you guys. I'm not even a big channel, but I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people that don't like that I even come against that stuff. Yes, we have a mediator. You can repent, but you can also get a seared conscience from it too, from sinning. If you keep sinning. Or as Jesus said, something worse can come upon you. Here's Psalms 139, 23. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus Philippians chapter 2 14 and 16 do all things without murmuring disputing that you may be blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life. That's why it's so important, you guys, we stay in the word of God, okay? I'm trying to see here. Staying in the word of God, you guys. The verse I just read to you guys said, holding onto the word of life. This is what remains when everything else is burned up, the word of God. What should you be reading? What should you be listening to? You know, you guys got to listen to what people are saying, okay? But fornication, uncleanliness, covetedness, let it not be once named among you as becometh saints. Ephesians 5.3 <clears throat> I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Romans 12, verse 1 There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 2. Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 through 10. 
Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health unto thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with thy first fruits. Of all thy increase, so shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 10 For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. You guys, that's because they're not acknowledging the Lord like they should be. You know, when he says watch, he's talking about what the word of God this is what Jesus came here for. Jesus told us all the things to be watching for. When you see these things, then you can look up. And you guys, we know we've been predestined and chosen for this time. It's not everybody that's that's called to be watching. And that's the reason why it says many were called, but few were chosen. Because many are falling into pits. There's The enemy is out there bigger and more than you know. And there's many pits out there. Many. You guys, you need to understand this. Satan, he uses this against you. Look around in the pulpits. How do you think all the churches and everything? Satan deceived the whole world. Don't you think this is the time to be sharper than you've ever been? And know this, that the Holy Spirit that dwells in you, many people can't see. Strong delusion, gospels hidden from them. Okay, many can't. Now, those that have been chosen, said many were called, he's made it to where you can see and you know the times we're in. But few are going to be chosen. Why? Because Scripture tells you why. No saltiness, lukewarm. You know, I mean, there's, there's reasons for this. You know, following people that aren't acknowledging God in all their ways, but are acknowledging other things. It warns you about this. Clearly warns about it. Sadly, doesn't seem like uh, many seem to care. I don't know. I think maybe it's the world and stuff like that that chokes it out of them. So they can't help but do what they do. I gotta mow this lawn. Um, I gotta mow this lawn here this afternoon if it dries enough and it don't rain. Got company coming tomorrow and uh, I need to get it mowed. Gotta mow it about every four days here and they're gonna be here for four days. So, gotta mow it. Get it ready, mow it today and it'll be good while they're while they're here visiting. Okay, you guys, God bless everybody in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Be strong and uh, be ready, man. Be strong, be ready. We're, we're more into this than everybody knows. A lot further into this. Most people have no idea how close we are to this. It's a lot further than everybody knows. The great falling away, just look around, man. There's few people in it right now. You know, few people are acknowledging it. I'd say it's it's pretty great right now myself. You know, according to the scriptures, I can tell what's going on. I'm sure the wise can too out there. God bless. In Jesus' name.